in Zagreb, the capital of Croatia, about 150 kilometers south. Mala Capella and Plesavica, between two mountains, Plitvis Lakes National Park. This place is sparkling with emerald light, a thick forest, 16 lakes, and 100 waterfalls. It is a treasure of Croatia that embodies the wonders of heaven and earth. Among them, Plitvis, famous for its lake, is divided into a large lake upstream and a small lake district downstream. The lake is magnificent in the mystical landscape due to the harmony of the dense forest, and the lake is small and cute. Plitvis Lakes is Croatia's first national park, designated 70 years ago, and is one of the oldest national parks in southeastern Europe. In 1979, it was listed on the UNESCO World Natural Heritage List. Not only a beautiful place, it was also recognized as a world natural heritage. The park covers 30,000 hectares, 100 times the size of New York's Central Park. It takes three full days to look around the park because it is wide. So there are about 10 kinds of trails and visitors can enjoy Plitvis by choosing a short course that lasts for two to five hours. Entering the lowest floor downstream course, a huge stream of water greets visitors. It is the highest 78 meters of water in Plitvis and is the Balikislav Falls. Balikislav Falls, boasting a bountiful amount of sheep and giving off a magnificent and mysterious atmosphere, as if with silks hanging down. Veliki means big, and Croatians call it Velik as you walk along the walkway in front of the waterfall. The sound of water is magnificent. Next to Veliki Slap, a curtain-like flow of water, Sastavi Falls. At the top of the waterfall, there is a footbridge, giving you a dizzying experience. The two waterfalls blend together to create the most beautiful scenery in Plitvis. With this magnificent view of the waterfall, the journey to Plitvis begins in earnest. Go down the Plitvis along the huge limestone wall and you will find four small lakes. Novakovac Abroad, Gavanovac, Kaludorovac, Milanovac. Among them, Gavanovac is a lake located in the center of the stream, with its unique waterfall attracting attention. Cascade, which means a small waterfall. Numerous waterfalls fall into several layers. It's like a fountain created by nature. Is it because of this beautiful scenery? There is a legend in the name of Lake Gavanovac. Once upon a time, a man named Gavan devoted his life to searching for hidden treasure somewhere in this lake, and he died before filling it. In other words, the man's name was given to the lake. 
The treasure we couldn't find was waiting for its owner somewhere in the lake. Together, they stimulate the curiosity of visitors. Passing a wooden footbridge over a waterfall, you can feel like a treasure trove. The water flowing into Plitvis Lakes National Park begins with the Bijivela River, which means white, and the Krina River, which means black. The water flows through 16 lakes scattered in the park into the Corona River, where there is a unique lake of Plitvis. The process is like this. When the trees and branches that stood by the lake fell into the river, they were swept away by the flowing water and caught by the foxes, and the water moss and limestone became the lake, blocking the water. In addition, over time, a large amount of water is filled, pressure increases, dams collapse, waterfalls form. This lake has been created many times and disappeared for many years. Plitvis Lakes currently has 16 lakes and 100 waterfalls, but they are changing little by little as visitors go. Lakes and waterfalls continue to build and disappear where we don't know. Plitvis Lakes is so crowded that visitors should line up in summer. One of Croatia's most famous gems, attracting more than one million people every year. The area was not known until about 400 years ago. In the 16th century, it was discovered during an investigation into the border problems of the Turkish and Austrian empires and was called the Devil's Garden because it was very difficult for people to approach. Among them, the story of the Black Queen is most famous. Once upon a time, when this area was hit by a severe drought that killed crops and animals, people in despair prayed for rain. May their prayers reach the sky. One day, a black queen appeared and sent thunder and lightning to the valley to rain for several days. The creatures of the valley have regained their green light and this is the legend that lakes and waterfalls have been formed. The fairy tale adds mystery to the beautiful scenery of Plitvis. So in the 19th century, as many stories about Plitvis spread among people, a group was created to protect the environment in the area. In 1951, the park was designated as a national park for many people to enjoy. Minimizing the damage to nature. In Croatia, the most diverse forms of Plitvis have not been harmed by urban noise and pollution. As human access has long become difficult, it is one of the plant's habitats. Beauty has been preserved with the strong protection policies and efforts of many including making footbridges, garbage cans, and signboards into trees to preserve nature and banning swimming, cooking, and fishing. As you pass the small lake downstream and head upstream, the water becomes a deep, dark cobalt color. 
The upper lakes are Kozhak and Proschansko. Amazing landscapes are hidden in two huge lakes, accounting for about 80% of Plitvis lakes. Upstream of Plitvis lakes, valleys and waterfalls, lush forests of beech, fir and cedar grow together to create a clean forest landscape. Located at the highest altitude, 12 lakes, including Lake Proshansko, Lake Veliko Jezero, and Lake Koljak, are cascaded downstream. Plitvis Lakes was originally one big lake in the mountains. Thousands of years of rivers have built up limestone deposits to form 12 stepped lakes. Plitvis, the Croatian etymology of Plitvis, refers to the lowlands, a name given to the fact that the depth of the lake is not as deep, but as a shallow, cascading waterfall. Proschansko, the highest altitude of 638 meters above sea level. It is 21 kilometers long and is the second largest lake in Plitvis. The depth of the water reaches about 40 meters. The color of the water is dark cobalt. Depending on the type and amount of minerals, minerals and organics, the most mysterious watercolors for visitors are light blue, pale green, turquoise, and dark blue. The color is dark when it rains, depending on the weather. On sunny days, the sun is shining and transparent. If you want to go to the highest Proshansko Lake and the lowest Kojak Lake, Plitvis Lakes, the shuttle bus is perfect. The ticket includes a shuttle bus fee, so you can use it freely. Plitvis Lakes has three bus stops. Visitors can take the shuttle bus to the desired entrance. Kojak, the largest and deepest lake. Kojak, 2.35 kilometers long and about 50 meters deep, was originally two lakes. As the quantity increased, overflowed became the current state. At the entrance of Lake Kojak, there are unique shops and restaurants in the National Park, making it a resting place for visitors. If you had a honey-flavored break, why don't you go to Lake Kojak? The Kojak, which is more than six kilometers around, means a goat. It is said to have originated from the legend that wolves lost their way around a large lake while chasing goats. Lake Kojak has a small waterfall that leads to the downstream of Milan Park. One of the most beautiful is the Milan Baki Slap waterfall. One of the six beautiful waterfalls of Plitvis only 10 meters high, but with cool water bubbles. Plitvis National Park has a variety of waterfalls and lakes. The largest and deepest lake, Kojak, extends downstream to the north and upstream to the south. 
If the downstream that many tourists visit is lively, upstream with deep forests and deep waters can enjoy a calm environment. Although not well known in Korea, it was already a large tourist country with nearly one million tourists in the 1980s. Plitvis Lakes was one of Croatia's most proud tourist heritages. This beautiful Plitvis Lake was once called the most dangerous national park in the world. Croatia has long been a member of the Socialist Yugoslav Federation. It became an independent country by Yugoslav Communist Army and Serbian parliamentary's aggression. Serbian extremists occupied Plitvis in the 1991 Yugoslav War. There was a barracks at the hotel and plundered the assets of the national park. Fierce war of Yugoslav army and Serbian parliamentaries imposed on Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Slovenia led to about 200,000 people killed and 2 million people became the refugees in about three years and seven months. Finally, the 1995 peace treaty stopped the war, relieved of nationalist and emotional tensions. Plitvis visited Croatia and peace came back. Long before Yugoslav aggressive war broke out, a lot of effort was made to defend it. In particular, the famous soprano Milka Ternina, who lived in Croatia, donated a lot of money and paid attention. To honor her, a small waterfall was given her name. People have forever remembered the beautiful meaning of Milka Ternina. The heat disappeared and autumn came. Plitvis has different seasons due to the changing of the four seasons. The greening of summer disappears and the foliage colors the forest. Plitvis with different charms every season. Plitvis in autumn creates a calmer landscape than spring and is calmer than a calm summer. Autumn comes early in Plitvis, which has a high elevation of sea level. There are many changes to fall here during the short seasons of September and October. In the summer, the waterfalls, which used to blend in with the greenness of the forest and create picturesque scenery, now reveal the beautiful features of the Orut. The season for shedding leaves that were thick with trees and preparing for winter autumn. Not only the waterfalls, but the entire Plitvis is changing into new clothes. The trails and rock walls, which were hidden by the recording, are also rushing to reveal their presence. When the leaves covering the head disappeared, the oil painting with autumn sky, walkway and lake was completed. The color of the lake, which used to depend on its depth, became darker. The lake, which is seen in contrast to the color of autumn, is darker and the expression fairy lake comes to mind.
The Plitvis Lakes National Park is home to animals and plants that are difficult to find in other parts of Croatia. Due to its favorable climate conditions, and geographically inaccessible nature. The area is the most diverse form of copper in Croatia because it is difficult for people to access. It is one of the places where plants live. Even today, many tourists visit the area every year and the environment is still very well preserved, maintaining a vast ecosystem. Bears and wolves live in national parks, where you can see deer, foxes, and badgers. In addition to ducks that roam the lake, there are more than 120 species of birds, such as hawks and kingfishers. It is nature that lives and breathes without losing the wild. Unpredictable weather and the fall of Plitvis. On sunny days, the temperature rises until you wear short sleeves. There are a lot of clouds and when it rains, there is cold air. But fresh air to cool your mind can make you feel refreshed. The largest lake Kojak in Plitvis. A refreshing autumn breeze blows over the wide surface of the water. Although the water has deepened, Ducks and trouts that live only in first-class water are natural in still, clear lakes. If you want to enjoy Kojak more, the electric boat across the lake is perfect. Electric cruise ships operate to protect the environment of Plitvis. Along the Kojak, it shows a landscape you've never seen around the lake. mystical and fantastic view. Amazing and wonderful nature of Plitvis. The Adriatic gem is a true gem hidden in the heart of Croatia.